Lions Retreat from Wigan. Poem by me. Thank you. It was on the plains of Earlham. The year 1815. Napoleon was sat in his long johns up in Brasso with Josephine. <laughs> he chewed his nails to the very quick, so he chewed them down to the slow. <laughs> he was chewing very hard when up the backyard come a corporal, his nose all aglow. Hey, be on, mon capitaine, he cried. <laughs> Sacred blue murder lows palace books. <laughs> and Boney spat out a big lump of nail and said, Bugger me, what's to do? <laughs> The lads have just come back from the Wigan set, Corporal. <laughs> News played them at the billiards last night. But the Wigan lads cheated and gave us wobbly cues. And sewed all pockets up tight. <laughs> and they put lard on chalk and glue on news balls. <laughs> and stuffed up wellies with barbed wire. And they bunged up muskets with parking. So we couldn't get the buggers to fire. <laughs> and we had to walk home after the punch up, because the tram guard looked at us right black. He said, Bug off, froggies. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to leg it all the way back. <laughs> Ecky le pecky, said Boney. I'll show them what team's the best. And he had a quick chew of his fingernails and stuck his hand up his vest. He said, dish out some spud guns and catapults too. And give lads pea shooters all round. We'll burn down the pie and pea shops and raise chippies down to the ground. Us will run through Wigan like a dose of Andrews. We'll make them tremble and quake. We'll loot and we'll pillage. And we'll pinch things as well. <laughs> and we'll smash all the Eccles cakes. <laughs> well, he boarded the Earl and Muck cart and some spuds to roast on way. And with all of his lads in wagon, he pointed the horse, Wigan way. <laughs> but the weather turned rotting to spite him. <laughs> it snowed, rained and ailed and all rest. So Boney started sulking and chewing his nails and sticking his hand up his vest. Soon the horse wouldn't go no further. It was weary and smelly and old. And it asked for a blanket and time and half. And boots for working in cold. So they traipsed through the snow for a fortnight. Just chuffed to the knickers they were. Did icicles hang him from the nom de plumes? <laughs> and frost all over the air. <laughs> While they trudged through the slush round the slag heaps, and up Bit Canal and Bit Pier, till they come to a big doormat in snow that said, Bog off. <laughs> and, and Boney said, Hey, up, lads, we're there. But the gates of Wigan was bolted tight. Said Boney, phew, what a pest. <laughs> and he had another chew of his fingernails and stuck his hand up his vest. There he stood at the front gates of Wigan, frozen tears coming in lumps down his chin. And he kicked on front door with his wellies in temper and said, come on, cheeky buggers, let's in. <laughs> But there, on the front door of Wigan, a notice he read with a groan, saying, we heard as how you were coming. So we buggered off, there's no one at home. <laughs> Boney, he was right blazing, but Wigan was blazing also, because they'd left Chip and on gas ring, <laughs> and Wigan were all aglow. <laughs> so they all got round and warmed up a bit. And as the flames grew higher, he took out a food parcel, he got his gran, and toasted his crackers on fire. <laughs> now Wigan burnt down to ashes, and it got cold, so they had to retreat. And they'd eat the boots and socks on way, so they had to walk home in bare feet. <laughs> Retreating were worst part at business, cos lads were starting to see red. 
And the Eastern booed when he walked up in front and chuck snowballs at the back of his head. <laughs> Boney were right pigged off with all this. So that night he worked out a plan. And he pawned out lads muskets as they lay there in kip. And he come home on number 11 tram. <laughs> it was dark when he got back to their street. And stars was twin eckling above. And Boney's passions rose and bursted all his buttons. As he thought of Joseph Lewent, his love. <laughs> he stamped the snow off his boots, opened the door and stuck his rifle in plant pot in thaw. He said, I'm home, sweetie pie, light of my life. And Josephine shouted rude things. <laughs> Don't think you can go out bloody conquering. <laughs> she said. She got right nasty and picked up the bow and emptied it over his head. <laughs> so you see what they say in the hysterical books isn't always right. It were Boney who got deaf and dumb breakfast, and Joseph Lewin too said, not tonight. <laughs> For she made him sleep downstairs on the hearth rug, tossing and turning without rest, <laughs> kicking the cat and chewing his nails. And stick in his hand of his best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of his best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.